guys welcome back to my channel i'm gonna show you guys how to get these tri-colored distressed faux locks from los mir hair their hair is amazing i'm gonna show you how to get this look with this hair and of course you know you got to start out fresh like this and then you know just the regular braid down your real hair so let's get to the basics let me open this beautiful bag of hair so i got the 18 inch passion twist hair the link will be in the description this hair is so soft it comes individually twisted like it's not like how the other passion twist hair is like the ones that you have to crochet in or undo this is already in its original form and it poofs out so easily like do you see how easy it is for me to poof this hair out with my fingers it was no tangling. It was just a really pleasant experience right here. So the best way to go through this is to pre-prep your hair. I use three strands for each lock. Um, Pre-prepping your hair takes a little while, maybe like 20, 30 minutes, but this hair makes it a lot easier. So here I am. This is just a quick go through. I'm going to give you some detailed instructions a little further on in this video. But like I said, pre prep your hair so you can just go because ain't nobody else got time for that. I promise you it'll save you hours. All right, so here I'm down to my last few locks and I'm just going to go through it in a little more detail for you. So get your hair out the way. Go ahead and tie that back. Go ahead and grab your three strands of your passion twist hair. Now this hair company has a variety of different colors. So I got like a 27, like a 1B27, a burgundy, and just a plain 1B. But anyway, go ahead, grab your crochet hook, gently put it at the base of your braid and go ahead and attach those three pieces of passion twist hair and pull it through. Gently pull the weave through, do a length check, straighten out the hair to the length you want it to be at because it will be in its stretched form as it's wrapped. Wrap the base of the lock like three or four times. And after you get done wrapping it those three or four times, loosely wrap down. Now you wrap it loosely so it has a messy look, like a boho, faux lock, distressed look, which is what I have. And like I said, loosely. It might not look like I'm doing it loosely, but I'm just wrapping it effortlessly downwards. And I'm not pulling it, I'm just wrapping it just wrapping it, wrapping it. Like, it's just so easy. Now, when you get to the bottom or the length that you want it to be at, you don't have to cut it or anything. Just go ahead and flip it up. Make a little circly thingy <laughs> like that and just start wrapping upwards until your strand ends. Now this hair like holds into itself really well. So like it will not unravel. Like I messed up on a few of these and tried to untie them and honey, it did not come undone. So I just said, whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna go through it one more time. Just enjoy the rest of this video. And yeah, like and subscribe if you made it this far, honey, because I got more content for you.
right y'all so this whole look took me about four hours it didn't take that long um here's the finished look my squares are all different sizes and i wanted it that way because it looks more natural but like i said before like and subscribe follow me on instagram at it's miko fool and i hope you guys enjoy this video